So what are you guys? We are the Swartwood family. So are you guys real Swartwood MCAT students? Hell yeah. Hey guys, this is John with Swartwood again, uh, doing another problem for Barron's. Uh, I think there's a problem um, I gave you guys in the algebra section, and it basically boiled down to this. It turned out to be a system of two equations, 2s plus 3c is equal to $8, right? Or better yet, yeah, we can leave the dollars out, it doesn't really matter, 3s plus 4c is equal to 11, okay? So the actual problem is slightly different, but what it comes down to is this pair of equations. And what it's asking you to do is to find s plus c, okay? So just a quick note, you can do it the way we did in the book, which is literally trying to, you know, solve each piece and substitute, et cetera, et cetera. That's totally fine, there's nothing wrong with that. But the way it's often set up, especially on the DAT, <coughs> and on other tests similar to DAT, right, is that they give, they're not really looking for that because they know you can do that sort of stuff. So what they're looking for is to see if you can find some sort of cheap way out. So in this case, the cheap way out is instead of going for each individual piece, go for the whole thing. Go for S plus C. And sometimes all you need to do is rewrite it. So 3S plus 4C is 11. Right? And 2S plus 3C is 8. But instead of going for each piece, let me subtract one equation from the other. Then you'll see the setup's really nice. Right? They did this on purpose, of course. This is S. And this is going to be C. This is that problem by itself would be kind of short for a video. Let's go ahead and take out another problem that, that's related, well, at least a little bit later in the algebra lesson. Okay? And that's going to be using the quadratic formula. Okay. Okay. So you probably had it beaten into you the quadratic formula. First, you start with a guy that looks like this. And we won't get into it here, but this is the general setup for a quadratic equation. Actually, it's not the most general, but it's the one, in, you know, with a single variable, okay? So we look at a guy that looks like this, and then, uh, you know, if you solved it, that's by completing a square, doing all that sort of crud, you end up getting negative b plus minus the root of, oops, b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, okay? Most of you have this memorized from the song, but one of my students actually, her whole sorority had this as a mnemonic. It was something like, the negative boy couldn't decide, and so at the radical party, because he was too square, he missed out on four awesome chicks by the time it was 2 a.m. But, you know, whatever works for you. Okay, so all I want to do really quickly is, how do you apply this sucker? Okay, so let's say we have something that looks like this, okay? And, of course, duh, have a set equal zero. Okay, so the question is, can you solve it? Sure, one way is you could factor. And I definitely advise that first because a lot of problems are set up to do that. But just in case, because they claim you need to know the quadratic formula, let's go ahead and solve this guy. So I'm going to first translate this and make sure I get all the coefficients in there. Okay. And the coefficients I'm looking at, this is A, this is B, and this whole sucker here is C. So you always want to think of connecting the terms by pluses. So it might have been better to write this as plus negative 150, right? So I guess we can just write that out instead of being lazy. Okay. Okay, so then literally now it's just a plug and chug. So you want to solve for this guy. So it's negative b, negative 5, plus or minus b squared, so 5 squared, minus 4, that's a squared, sorry, a, which is 1, c, which is negative 150, over 2a, which is in this case, what, 1? Okay. Okay, so it's going to be negative 5 plus or minus. So 5 squared is, of course, 25. Let's do a side computation. 25 minus. So a minus and a minus will give us a plus, right? This is 4. This is, what, 150? So I think that's 600, which is 625. Okay. This one happens to be pretty, so I think this is 625. 625, we can check, but you can also run it through your calculator. Uh, I think this is going to be, what, 25 squared? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so then we're taking the square root. 25 squared over 2. And of course, it's going to be negative 5 plus or minus 5 over 2. Hmm? I'm on crack. Duh. Square root of 25 squared is 25, not 5. Okay. So anyway, this is going to be now 20 over 2, which you know is 10. Or it could be what? So I guess we're going to go two ways here. Right? So what I did first was negative 5 plus 25, which will give us 20 over 2, right? But we could do negative 5 minus 25, right? Which will give us negative 30 over 2, which is negative 15, okay? 
So both of these are viable answers. So I guess x could be 10 or x could be negative 15. Okay. Of course, as a side note, you could have tried to factor this guy. Right? Give me two factors and multiply to 150. Well, I guess we can guess 10 and 15, though it might not be super obvious. 10 and 15, right? Okay. And then what we want, to, want them to do is add, basically, to give us 5, right? So two guys that multiply to 150, but add to 5, but then multiply, I guess, to negative 150. So one of these has to be minus. But then you want them to add to 5. So negative 10 plus 15 adds to 5. And then that will get you right away x is 10. Or x is negative 15. But anyway, the point of this video was to apply the quadratic formula. Okay.